as you say, America becomes America for all people. Things are moving very rapidly now, and I think they're moving to a climax. This is a climactic stage of the struggle. And I would expect that within two or three years, the most brutal aspects of segregation in the South, that is, formal segregation, will be eliminated. Segregation in businesses that serve the public. I would expect, however, that there will be exceptions, that in the hardcore states of the Deep South, such as Mississippi and Alabama, and the hardcore areas of the Upper and Middle South, it will take a few years longer for us to break down those barriers. I would expect that it will take several years longer in the North for us to wipe out the more subtle forms of discrimination in housing, in employment, in de facto school segregation, and of police brutality. I think, however, that within five or ten years at the most, I'll be able to take a vacation and go fishing. Uh, how do you gentlemen feel about Mr. Farmer's timetable? Mr. Walker? Well, I would agree uh, with Jim wholeheartedly that uh, the revolution now has been mounted. What we've seen in the last four or five years has been perhaps the rumbling and thundering of a revolution that had only established beachheads. Keep up the pressure, as I'm sure the other gentlemen here do. I think, I, think, I, think, I think perhaps we ought to turn to Malcolm X, who wanted to comment on that. Yes, on this uh, white power structure. When you say power structure, I know you mean the white power structure, because that's all we have in America. And the white power structure today is just as much uh, interested in perpetuating slavery as the white power structure was a hundred years ago. Only now they use modern methods of doing so. And uh, realizing that the black people in this country are waking up and becoming filled with a desire to be uh, looked upon as men and as human beings, the white power structure to slow down that uh, struggle for freedom and human dignity uh, uses tricks. A uh, hundred years ago, they could do it with chains. Today, they, they use tricks. And one of the tricks that they've invented is, is this token integration to give the to get Negro, so-called Negro leaders to accept the few token crumbs of integration that don't solve any problem for the masses of black people in this country whatsoever, but it does make the hand-picked Negroes uh, be satisfied to slow down the cry of the masses. And a good example of that is, as soon as the uh, spirit of rebellion or, or revolution began to spread among the masses of black people in this country, and they began to take an active part, and they showed that they weren't uh, confined to this uh, nonviolent approach, then the government or the power structure uh, began to sit up and take notice. And uh, uh, now, as, the, as you said earlier, the president is talking about new legislation and uh, to put it, uh, take it out of the streets and put it back in the courts. Why, as long as it's in the streets, it's in the hands of the masses of black people who will not compromise or who cannot be bought out. But when you put it back in the courts, then that puts it back into the hands of the uh, hand-picked Negro leaders who will uh, allow the judges and the uh, 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 other persons that are, in, that are involved in this white power structure to slow them down. It's only a trick. And as long as the masses of black people are involved in the struggle for freedom, not integration, but freedom, the respect uh, as human beings, respect as men, and show that they're willing to die to be respected as men, then the power structure sits up and takes notice. But as long as this mass element is uh, led, and when I say led, I, I use led in quotes, actually contained uh, by Uncle Tom Negro leaders who hold them back, who tell them turn the other cheek, and things like that, then the white power structure isn't worried at all. They're only worried when they know that the masses of black people are ready to explode, and in exploding it will destroy some of the furniture in their house. Uh, and then they react according, accordingly. Mr. Morris? In the Senate of the United States, we plan to have demonstrations, nonviolent demonstrations and massive there. And I'm sure Wyatt Walker can tell you that they have similar plans. Yes, I would hardly agree with uh, Jim Farmer. I can understand the impatience and frustration that uh, Malcolm X evidences. Not frustration. I want to straighten you out. Maybe impatience, but not frustration. Well, You're only frustrated when you don't get what you expect. And, uh, and and a black man is out of his mind after sitting around here listening to these political speeches by politicians for a hundred years. He's out of his mind well, if he thinks that he's going to get anything uh, more today than he got a hundred years ago. Well, I was about to say that uh, 
Mr. Kennedy probably has another thing coming if he proposes legislation, and I personally don't believe that it has a prayer of passing. 